hello everyone so welcome to my video in this video we are going to talk about the inner blocks or the nested block system in gutenberg inner block systems is a powerful component for the gutenberg because if you want to create a layout hb you can create on the layout using inner blocks in addition uh, if you want to create a repeatable sections you have to use the inner blocks component to create the repeatable sections in Gutenberg. So today we will discuss about the basic uses of inner blocks and in the next video I will discuss the advanced features or use case of uh, nested blocks or the inner blocks. You can see this is the documentation of the inner blocks. You can also check out the documentation from the GitHub. So first did you is to import the inner blocks component from the blocks editor package and secondly you can see uh, to use the inner blocks in our editor simply we can call the inner blocks component and all of the probes uh, related to the inner blocks are optional so if you do not want to pass any blocks uh, or any props you can simply keep it uh, something like this and for the sub functions if you want to print in the inner blocks uh, result in the front end simply you have to add a extra property that is called the content so let us create our first inner blocks layout so our first duty is to go to the editor.js and we have to import the inner blocks from our block editor package so i'm going to end up i uh, i'm going to import the inner blocks from here and my second duty is to add the inner blocks in our edit.js functions like inner blocks and since all of the properties are optional so i am keeping it blank and similarly for the step function we have to again import it from the inner blocks uh sorry from the block editor and to use this in our sub function we have to add an extra properties and that is called the content so once it's ready we have to just simply run the npm round and if we go back to this editor and refresh so if i go to the block insert library and add our block well i have to click on this and check out the list view you can see this is our uh, custom block and you see this custom block we are getting a by default paragraph and this paragraph uh, blocks giving me options to add any blocks as the child blocks for my custom block suppose we want to add the heading our nested headings sorry nested heading and you can see this heading tag is inside our custom block it means this heading tag is working as a child for our custom block and if we wrap it and see the result at the front end and you can see the, it is working fine yes but there is a simple problems first problem is that when we are going to add our block we're getting a blank it is look like the starting uh i mean the initial behaviors of the gutenberg suppose we want to uh, pass some placeholder blocks as our first uh, placeholder blocks at the that will be visible at the front uh, at the beginning of our block that's when when our block will be added to the editor uh, those placeholder blocks will be visible to the user suppose we want to uh, pass a heading tag block and an image tag blocks as the placeholder so how can we do this so to add the placeholder blocks we have to add a property that is called the templates so template is an array that means you can pass a number of blocks as the placeholder blocks so in some block is an array so it will be an array and inside this array we have to pass the name of the block so name of the block will be the full name i mean the full name means 
at the block name with prefix. If we check out the blocks.json for our blocks, you can see the name of this block is the first block, but the whole name is the sub forward slash first block. So this is our block name. Suppose we want to add the heading block. So we have to file uh, first, we have to pass the prefix for the heading blocks. By default, the default blocks of Gutenberg's are uh, prefixed with core. That's mean default blocks have the prefix and that is core. So like uh, for the heading blocks, the name will be core for slash heading and for MS, it will be core for slash MS. So we want to use the heading block. So we have to pass core and heading. And as the second parameter, we can pass a placeholder like placeholder, placeholder. So like my custom block heading just like this one so this is uh, our placeholder block uh, it is our heading blocks so if we go back to this editor and see the result uh, this is our previous block i want to remove this one and we want to add from this class Yeah. Oh, let me delete this one from here like this. Now, if we go back there and add this one, you will see this is our placeholder and it is by default a heading block. If I check out the list view, we can see this is our heading block and it is working fine as per expectation. Suppose we want to remove this heading uh, placeholder and want to add another uh, block as our placeholder blocks. So we can use the like core and image. I refresh this one and again update. Let me refresh this page. So simply delete this from here. Let us delete this one. And if we go back here to add this our custom block. When we're going to add this one and you can see there are two placeholder first one is the heading and second one is the image and if you check out the list we will see this is our custom block and this is our heading as working as a placeholder a child block for this first block first block and this is our uh, image block and it is also working fine uh, that mean that means that uh, we are getting result as per expectation so add content like the heading or heading and add an image from here like this one and let us check out is it working fine or not if i refresh yeah it is working fine in some cases uh there is a problem so like you can easily delete or remove this one from here against uh, you can remove this one and add another blocks from here like if I select my first block and add in like the list like something like this so that means uh, our user can easily remove our um, placeholder blocks but it is not our expected behavior in some cases suppose you want to create a layout with the heading and image and you do not uh, give the formation to the user to remove any blocks that means you want to lock uh, these blocks or this layout so how can we do this if you want to do this you can simply to do this i have to pass the template lock make it true if you make it true that means user will not be able to remove any of this block from your placeholder blocks suppose if i refresh again and i want to remove this from here first remove this block 
and add it from beginning so you can see this is our block and heading and image both are working as our uh, child block and now if I want to do, remove this one I will see there is no remove uh, link even in case of the image there is no remove uh, link that means user will not be able to remove these blocks from here so this is a quick way to add these blocks or create a layout easily in ender blocks there is some importance more uh, properties and in the next video i'll discuss about this in depth so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, video if you have any questions you can let me know. I'll try my best to answer my answer your questions. Thank you.